What's going on guys? Coach Malik here and today we are going to go over another workout. This is going to be a pull slash arms day. I'm working out with Jake and we are uh, here hitting a little bit of upper, upper body. Again, if you watch my last couple videos, I'm doing that 15, 10, 5 rep scheme where the first set I go 15, trying to warm up my body, trying to warm up the muscles that I'm working. Second set I go 10 and then the third set I go 5. I like this rep scheme because it's helping me out personally with my strength and size. Uh, it's helping me kind of maintain that little bit of both um, goals of mine is to maintain my strength slash increase it and then size really just maintain. I'm not really trying to grow too much anymore except my legs. My legs could use a little growth. Oh, come on, leg gods. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we did some rows to start off with, cable rows. This was basically tempo, not too heavy but enough to get the back warm, get the back um, nice and, uh, you know, worked. Um, we did four sets here. So if you do four sets with that 15, 10, five rule, I recommend on just one of those, you, you know, just double it up. So whether it's 15, 15, and then 10, five, 15, and then two 10 sets, and then a five uh, rep, five set rep, or a uh, 10, 15, 10, and then two sets of five. So depending on the exercise, I will change it up. But on that one, I believe I second the 10. I did two sets of 10 and then one set of five. After the cable rows, we move on to cable bicep curls. Again, we're trying to work the pull muscles. So we just burned out. This is one of my, um, has always you know, been one of my favorite back, uh, back and by supersets is the row and then the cable curl. So if you haven't tried that out, I highly recommend that. Jake looking swole getting those cable curls in and you can see we're using the wide grip here so we use the wide grip uh, sometimes I use the inner grip but we just wanted to use the wide grip today I feel personally with the wide grip you can do a little bit more uh, weight that's just it could just be me and I think it's also dependent on the person depending on what's your strengths but for me when I use the wide grip um, I can go a little bit heavier with a little bit better form it just works better with my uh, body type so we did this again that rep scheme 15 for that first set increase weight go 10 reps and then increase weight a little bit more and we go five reps i think we did three sets or four sets here we doubled up on the tens again for me my goal right now is hypertrophy slash uh, maintenance and size i'm trying to really just dense everything up so i'm adding a little bit more cardio to my routines and so um, 10 reps is actually a good kind of rep range for me. If I do too much heavy, um, I'm gonna get uh, too big. And if I do too light, I'm not gonna gain the strength that I need. So um, 10 reps, 10, 12 reps has been my kind of sweet spot. After the curls, we go ahead and move on to uh, upright rows and then bicep curls. So again, a pull movement. Uh, I used to always think you know, lateral raises and upright rows were shoulders, and they totally can be if you want to put those in your shoulder day. But I asked one of my strength and conditioning coaches uh, when I was in high school, and he was a really, he's a really good strength and conditioning coach, um, worked at Cal, and uh, he would always tell me that those lateral raises and the upright rows are technically a pull movement because you're pulling the, you know, you're not really pressing anything um, with your shoulders, triceps, or chest. You're really pulling the, the traps when you're doing the upright row is pulling the weight up. When you're doing the lateral raises, uh, that side shoulder is pulling the dumbbell to your side. So for those two workouts, I actually add those um, to my pull days now. So upright rows here, we do for a set of uh, 10 on this set, and then we go 10 um, on the curls. I believe it was 10, maybe this was the, the five rep set. But again, we did 10, uh, 15, 10, five here. Um, I started to not film as many sets as the workout went on. I just filmed kind of one or two sets. I didn't film the whole one. So that was, the upright rows slash bicep curl superset. I really recommend trying this in the middle of your workout. You know, go a little bit heavier, a little more compound in the beginning. And then in the middle, you could kind of add these supersets, these dumbbell supersets. And then more of the end of your workout, you would like to add machine work or cable work. Um, today we kind of did it different. It's Sunday, we're tired. But uh, it's totally, that's, that's usually the routine I try to do. Compounds in the beginning, dumbbells or free weights in the middle. And then I usually like to hit machines or cables at the end of my workout with some core. So after the superset of upright rows and bicep curls, we move on to cable tricep pushdowns. Now you can see this extension that I'm using uh, isn't the ropes that I usually use. 
it's uh, a handlebar. So you got the two handles on the sides and then that straight bar in the middle. And I've been always liking this. Um, for some reason, it hits my triceps a little bit differently than anything else. It's kind of like a standing up skull crusher, if that makes any sense. But this one really likes, it hits my inside of my tricep very well. So we do it. We, so we do this three sets, 15, 10, and five. Um, recommend trying it out. It's always nice to switch up the extensions that you're using on the cable machines. You know, hit the muscle differently, a different angle, different grip. If you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, your body will adapt and you're not gonna see the results that you're looking for. So try switching things up. After this movement, we go ahead and superset that with uh, a lat pull down machine. Now this one, usually it's a straight bar and you could do a wide grip. The gym that I'm working at has dual cables, so we go ahead and use the dual cables for this one. Basically, you're having, you're both, you're pulling with both hands uh, individually. So instead of just one bar where one hand can maybe help out the other, uh, it's individual, and we're gonna, you can see my hands, they rotate as I'm coming down. So palms are facing away on the up, and then as I'm coming down, bringing the hands to the chin, my wrists rotate, and I try to bring them um, into more of a chin-up grip uh, type. If it's getting heavy, so these are more of our later sets where we're hitting tens and fives, you might want to go neutral grip where instead of coming, uh, you know, palms going away from you and then facing you, you might just want to st stop your wrist at that neutral grip where the palms are facing each other. Hopefully that made sense, uh, made sense in my brain. Bicep, uh, bicep cable curls, this is one of my favorite finishers because you can just burn out on this machine. We do the same rep range, 15, 10, five, but I believe I did two sets of 10 here. I might not even hit the five on this one. I might have just gone more reps. You're gonna want to, on this one, just burn out. You know, we did a little bit more tempo earlier in the workout uh, with that wide grip, V grip cable curl. And usually I don't hit cable curls twice uh, in a workout. But in this one, uh, two reasons. One, I was filming, so there was a lot of people by the um, by the dumbbell rack, and this one was uh, not being used. So that was our workout today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And if you like this, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and do not forget to turn on the post notifications so you can get notified every time I post a new fitness video. And if you have anything that you want me to make a video on, go ahead and comment that down below, and I will make sure to make that video for you. Again, Appreciate all you guys. Thank you for watching. Be certain yourself and be consistent in your actions because consistency is key. I'll see you next video. And that's a wrap. <laughs>